one of the first things I did is I had to go down and interrogate everybody who participated in that the Lisa McPherson matter. And Mark, a great deal of them didn't even speak English. I had to have translators, okay? Because flag had created, you know, being the way Scientology has been corporatized, just like corporate America, they have shipped in um, people from third world countries, from Central America and South America and Mexico, who handle almost all their maid services for their public and their hotels, almost all of their catering service, almost all of their um, kitchen labor and all that matter. And they had people like that being on the watch. They didn't know anything about Scientology. They didn't know anything about mental health. They didn't even know how to speak the language, okay? And, and, and I would, I don't know if it was the majority, but a, a lot of the people that I had to interrogate. And in fact, the woman that they, that they said had doctor credentials, Janice Johnson was one of them. There was another woman, Laura Arnuda, and she didn't speak a lick of English. Um, and yet that's, they were resting their laurels on the fact that we had a doctor who couldn't really even speak to, to Lisa, um, nor speak to the other people that were, that were involved there without somebody translating for her. So, yeah, no, there absolutely was no qualifications for any of this. I mean, you know, we, we had to find out from the St. Pete Times three years into the case that the doctor, who was supposed to be the attending doctor, Janice Johnson, had, had let her license uh, lapse after she'd been uh, busted by the Arizona Board of Medicine for, um, you know, taking um, the painkillers that she was supposed to be an expert in administering. And those were the three documents or three reports that myself, Elliot Abelson, general counsel for the church, and Lynn Farney, who was a staff member, decided ought to go. And of course, I was the senior person there, so I said, lose them. And, you know, but we had discussed it, and they had culled them and pulled them out as these being things that we wouldn't want people to see. So Elliot Abelson, the attorney, actually was in on this. Oh, thing. Elliot Abelson was absolutely in on this. Elliot Abelson supervised the whole thing. It was done in Elliot Abelson's office within the Church of Scientology headquarters at 6331 Hollywood Boulevard, the um, 10th floor where the OSA offices, they have in-house offices set up for lawyers, um, one of which was for Elliot Abelson, and that was done in his office. That's where those folders were.